Right, so we need to go talk to the mayor of this lovely town. Uh, we know where that is. It's where all the people are protesting. Oh, ah, I can't get a hang of this. Because the same button that I have to use to start going down the stairs is the same one that makes her go back up the stairs in the next scene. That's why I keep flipping back and forth. So I have to remember to release all buttons when I transfer from one scene to the next. Okay, I said I remember where that was, but um, I'll have to check if I can find it instantly. It's down here. And then to the right, I believe. I know it's where all those people were protesting, uh, obviously. Oops, oops, oops. Do I remember how to get there? Mm, not exactly. I might be going the wrong way. Nice to see. I think if I get options, I'll try to play on his um, logic sense, namely, oh god. Um, that is, is Oh, Jesus, if he um, helps the Yukos to leave, then his problems with the people in the village are sorted as well. My dear friends, it's win -win. keep calm. Please, keep calm. I beg of you. We'll calm down when we oh, get what we want. There. Yeah, Nomad's out. Kick the Yukos out right now or the strike will get worse. I know just what you mean, my dear friends, and... It's all words. We want action. Listen, my dear friends, I'm ready to work with you to find solutions to your very legitimate concerns. And starting tomorrow, I'll receive your delegation. Yeah, you better. And don't try outsmarting us, Bulyakin. Just trust me and you will see. Come back tomorrow, and together we'll find an honorable way out of this crisis. <laughs> like opening the locks so the ship can ferry them across the lake. I've got a perfect solution for you. Can I just start talking to him here on the balcony? That seems a bit inappropriate. Mr. Mayor? Yes? What now? Uh, sorry for bothering you. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Please forgive me for intruding like this without an appointment at all, but I'd just like to start off by saying thank you for your time. I know how precious it is. You are completely forgiven, my dear lady. How can I help? Awesome. Do you think it would be possible to open the locks in the port? Hmm. I beg your pardon? Did you say the locks? What on earth for? Solve your problem. I'm actually accompanying the Yukul tribe on their long journey right now, Mr. Mayor. I've asked Captain Obo if he would take us to the other side of the lake on the crystal to now dusk. Oh. Captain Obo. The crystal. The Yukuls. Do go on. Anyway. It would be very ungracious of me if I were to criticize you for removing that burden from our good town. Nonetheless, I'm afraid I must refuse your request, dear lady. The locks will remain closed until further notice. This decision came from above, you understand? Of course I do. Um... Uh... Ooh, 
difficult one. I'm really sorry to say this, Mr. Mayor, but are you absolutely certain that's the right decision? Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know that making the Yukul stay here by keeping the locks closed is clearly not what the people in your administration want. They won't understand. In the long run, there could be backlash at election time. I... Now that I think about it, yes. You are right. And I have always been there for my voters. But the orders... Mm, I do understand. Their orders, understand? How to get him past that. Uh, ooh. That You're the mayor. And it's you and you alone who can decide what's right for Valsumbur. So why not reassert your authority once and for all? Authorize the opening of the locks. I could do it, of course. But it's complicated, understand? Ugh, I do. Uh, I'm, I'm, he was selfish, wasn't he? If you solve this problem, you'll become a kind of crusading hero to your voters. You'll earn the undying support of everyone in Valsambur. And your superiors won't be able to do anything to you. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, dear lady, that your arguments have convinced me. I am authorizing you to open the port locks so the crystal can leave. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, you should know that there is a technical problem that means the locks have to be opened manually. I imagine that such an inconvenience isn't likely to deter a woman as determined and resourceful as you. Do you mean that? Yes, as the local technician is absent, I'm afraid you'll have to delve into the murky waters yourself <laughs> to open the locks. Great. I'll get right on that. Nonetheless, this should help you use the underwater mechanism. But how am I supposed to dive? That, dear lady, is your problem, I suppose. Do have an excellent day. Thanks. Hello. He has been as helpful as he could be, I guess. Cool, an underwater pass. Um, I assume it is possible to sort of botch that uh, dialogue by picking the wrong options. I'm not sure, having not played this game before. Um, but I wasn't going to risk that. Get down the stairs, Kate. Sure, should I talk to the captain now? You think he could help me with the diving part? To be honest, I'm not even sure where the locks are located. I assume they're where that fisherman was. Maybe he can help? Guess we'll have to sort of ask around. Meanwhile, the Yukol. Oh. <laughs> The Yuko don't know anything about all of this, but uh, they kind of assumed I would help them, I guess. To be fair, they helped me a lot, so it seems fair. Um, no reason to go in a cafe, I think. I doubt there's anyone there who could help me. Oh, let's check what um, the mayor actually gave us. Is it in our journal? Another passcode or something? Oh, it's um, instructions. Uh huh. So we need um, cogs and gear wheels and chains. Alright. Doesn't seem like it would be too hard. Well, as long as we can find a place to get them. Yeah, I'll go talk to the captain first, see if he's got any clue, considering he's... Uh, the captain. <laughs> and if not... Um, I guess the fisherman will do.
Oops. Every time. I assume he's still here. There he is. Hi. Well? Toad's got permission. Uh, <laughs> well, somebody. Like, yeah, he's not going to. Go. So what? Nothing more to add then? Yeah, I'll. The mayor gave us authorization to open the locks, but I have to do it manually by diving down into the port. Huh. <laughs> I can probably help. There should still be some old diving equipment you can use in that shed at the end of the seawall. I've never gone diving. But if you think I'll be fine down there, I don't mind trying. This has to stay between the two of us, Kate. There's something you need to know about the locks. They're also there to stop the lake monster from entering the port. Mm. Anyway, that's what I heard. But at this time of day, there's no risk. That spawn of hell sleeps all day. Sounds great. Um... Where's a suit I can use? Meet me in the shed at the far end of the seawall. There should be something just about your size. I mean, near enough, anyway. <laughs> he was pointing helpfully towards the camera there. Uh, lake monster, eh? Do you really believe there's a monster down there in that lake? Yes, he does. You know, 20 years ago, it really wasn't Baranor that I was afraid of. Not the deaths, the radiation. That's what people say, but the truth is that it was actually that damn monster that made me scoot away like a minnow. It was lurking around Paranor, drawn by the stench of the graves, probably. I saw its red eyes staring at me, Miss Walker. That's something you never forget. I'm going to assume that at some point we'll get to see this monster, because this is way too much of a build-up. Underwater? How am I supposed to open the lock gates? They're kept in place with some kind of steel locks. Just try and pull them out using their mechanism. Mm -hmm. All right. There's nothing to it. Easy peasy. Meet me in the shed at the end of the seawall. Okay. That shed. The one we couldn't open previously. I'm curious to see that sea monster. Uh, not just story-wise, but also to see how they um, animated it and all that. Also, whether it just appears in a cutscene or whether we'll get to interact with it. No idea. Exciting. I think I keep saying sea monster, but it's a lake monster, of course. Off to the shed. Close to the. Can't I? Uh, no. This way. I said in the beginning that I would change to a controller if the mouse and keyboard was too difficult, but to be honest, while it's a tad infuriating at times. I can deal with it, and I vastly prefer keyboard and mouse whenever I can. I just don't like controllers. They make my fingers confused. When I first started gaming I had a huge issue trying to get my head around the keyboard use. I kept pressing wrong buttons, and I still occasionally do. But now it's the other way around. I find it much easier to press the correct buttons on my keyboard than on the controller. It's just a matter of habit, I suppose. I find it annoying. I can't wake her really walk into a straight line. She still looks like a drunken sailor. Which is appropriate, I guess. I opened the shed for you. Thanks. Okay, I was worried that the game was crashing there, but it seems alright. Ah, diving uh, outfits, is that all there is here? What's this? Oh, oh do I have to fill tanks and all that? Ooh, I don't know anything about that. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, Let's get our... 
here first. Uh, um, how? No? Uh, okay. Oh, I wanted to slide it aside. I didn't realize it was already far enough. Can I put this on? No. Ah, yes. I have to get all the equipment together and get it ready before I change. Fine, fine. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, got my helmet. Beautiful. Modern. That sleek steampunk look. Um, and then this. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly don't know what I'm doing. Uh, um, is there instruction somewhere? Oh, I didn't put any. I need something that I can fill. Obviously. I need something that I can fill. Mm -hmm. But no instructions, obviously. Uh, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Like this. So what have we got? We've got a beautiful diving suit. It should keep me dry. I hope. Hmm. Beautiful aquarium. Come on, I am not claustrophobic. I am not claustrophobic. I am not claustrophobic. <laughs> Aha. Pressure required. Now, um, is that a, a pressure eight? required? Yeah, I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Hundred and eighty. Good to know. It's a good thing I inspected my gear. Um, so let's try to attach it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I must have forgotten something. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming that's for like attaching it properly. Uh, 180, it said, right? Sort of annoys me that I keep getting the mouse cursor back. I've got everything now, I think. Fashion show.
that's kind of cool. Can I run on the water? I can. Is that where I'm going? Oh, there's things. Cogs. It's the cogs. Ah, cool. five on it as I picked it up. Number two is the O3. I think we're missing stuff still though. I'm assuming No oh, so that is all sorted. Do we have a chain? don't seem to have a chain so I guess we'll have to look around a bit for a chain I don't want to move too far from the wall because I'm afraid I'll get lost. So I hope I'll find what I need here. So it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh here's another one. I like how, uh, how it all looks, like the lighting, it's very pretty. I really hope there's no large fish in here. Uh, I guess we're stuck. Can't run out of air. Aside from being pretty, there doesn't actually seem to be anything useful anywhere. So, I guess I could go back to my puzzle. I don't even know if I'm supposed to find Jane or if she's got one in her pocket that I don't know about. Let's go all back to the puzzle. Am I going the wrong way? Am I stuck? Am I stuck? stuck. Okay. I was kind of stuck. <laughs> okay. Puzzle. Yeah. 
this does nothing, obviously. Um, oh yeah, we don't know what the square key is for. Uh, let me just quickly check back on here. I need to know what... Okay, so four goes down there. Okay, that's all I needed to know, really. That one goes here. Uh, that one goes there. And then that one goes there. But no chain. Must be a chain around here somewhere. They're not going to make me go all the way back up just for a chain, are they? Wait. I was confused because it still said back in the corner. But that was just a glitch. Oh, I can. Uh, I won't this. be able to open the locks while the bolts are activated. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Janitor's key. Okay. A janitor's key, apparently. That really doesn't tell us much. I doubt the janitors had a, an underwater thingy. Maybe I should try looking for the exit again. Maybe I just missed it because of all the uh, low visibility and the uh, annoying navigation combined that is pretty horrific to find anything so maybe I should just look maybe maybe I can actually exit and um, I just thought I could. Okay. Can't go here. See, I'm seeing this wall and I'm thinking this is the side of the dock, right? This is the stairs. Okay, I found them. It really was lack of visibility and navigation skills. So, to try to remember where they are. I'll go back up after I open the locks. Oh, so I can't just a minute. Well, it was worth a try. At least I found them. <laughs> so we know that that is not the solution. Like 
It must be down here somewhere. And all we've got that may or may not be a red herring is a janitor's key. Again, like I was saying, where would the janitor keep an underwater shed? Probably uh, not at all. You never know. I am lost. I don't know. I... why? All I've got is a janitor's key. I'm assuming that doesn't get used for anything here. The door isn't like that seems so weird. It wouldn't be, would it? No. Because the this it is. Oh, jeez. 
George. around it, so that's something. Hope we don't run into the Kraken, uh, or whatever they call it. There it is. There it is, of course. could have left these marks. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. And back we go. Finally. Alright, alright. Shame. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I hate when that happens. Okay, well, she did something well, and then I instantly undid it. Well done, Kate. I couldn't have done better myself. Well, if everything's ready, I'll go and get the Yukels right away. In the meantime, I'll go and make sure that everything's all set. By the time you come back here with the Nomads, we'll just have to cast off. Perfect. I'll see you later, Captain. <laughs> 